Hello, um, welcome to my Nutsack channel. Today I'm gonna introduce a new toy I got from KGG, um, which is um, HP Syncline T6000. Um, beautiful design, very solid, and the screw is to open it. Uh, 4 gig memory. Open it from here. Okay. Top panel and uh, there's a trigger here. Pull it down. Now, okay, slide cover out. Very cool design. Um, the memory is in under the hood here, but you need a screw to take it out, take the plate out. Here is M SATA, 16 gig SSD. You can change it to 32 gig uh, from eBay by maybe $30. Uh, two available USB slot inside. You can add another USB, maybe USB Wi-Fi adapter. Um, other than that, it totally is very light. And performance, I think it's pretty good. I'm gonna give it a try to see if I can install Windows 7, not the inbuilt version. By default, they have Windows 7 inbuilt version installed on its inside already. So I'm gonna try to install a um, full Windows 7 version in this 16 gig SSD. Should be fine, but. We will verify that in a couple of minutes. There's no DVD ROM. This, this machine is too small to have it, but I'm going to use a USB disk to do the installation. Okay, let's put everything back and start to install Windows 7. I got some dirty shit to pick up at the dry clean. I got a tidy bitch to pick up, I got less Selena. Shady hop up in the whip, but I ain't never seen it. Shady love the way I whip it in a two seater. First thing, let's make sure HP Think Client configured to boot from USB. It is default setting. We always can press F10 to get into BIOS after you power on machine. USB floppy slash CD and USB hard drive have been configured as first boot source. After press any key to boot from USB to start Windows 7 installation, all steps are same as you install Windows 7 on other computers.
This is the first restart process. After waited one and half minutes, installation will restart machine again. We can verify, the new installation Windows 7 32 bits only took about 7.4G from 16G hard drive.